what a difference a few days makes. The, uh, the roads are starting to get a little bit of dirt showing on them. The trees, the snow has fell off of the trees. Just a beautiful day. It's not all that warm. It's still right about freezing, but it's still fairly early. So it, I, I'm thinking it's going to get, I don't know, 35, 40 at least today. So anyhow, we're me and Lily are heading up to check some wolf traps and see if there's anything in them. Sunny and nice, really pleasant day today. It's uh, the snow is starting to melt. I'm seeing more and more dirt showing up. That'll be a great deal for putting out a few more traps. Um, I checked over there by that elk, and uh, just looking down from the top of the road, I don't see anything down there. On the way back, I'll check it a little closer and probably add a little more lure, but. Uh, this deer, it was about gone. Kind of hard to see, there's enough glare in here today. It's right about there. Like I said, I can't see it on the screen. I hope I'm getting it. Anyway, it's right about there. That looks like ribs. Uh, about gone. But, I have a trap right over here, which is empty. Another one, I think right between those two trees right here, there was tracks going through it, and uh, everything's empty. But, encouraging enough, look at here. The wolves came through, there's tracks all over the place here. Some of them are a little on the small side. I'm kind of hoping they're not somebody's hound dogs. That one looks too big to me, though. That's, like I said, a dollar bill is uh, six inches wide, or six inches long, about three inches wide. And that track is at least four inches, probably. Five inches, maybe. But, uh, coming down here, down the road, bunch more tracks right here. Like I said, I don't know if I can, if you can even see this. I can't see my screen here very well. But this one here, he's leaving. He's going back down the road. But those are big tracks there. That's, that's pretty sure to be a wolf. So anyway, I'm going to walk down here and add a little lure to uh, this spot. If I can find another roadkill deer, I'll bring it up here tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, next trap trek, a couple of days from now, to add to it. And uh, here soon, I'm really hoping that there's enough bear spots kind of in accessible areas that I can get to and put out a few more traps. So, anyway, <laughs> close but no cigar. Maybe next track, I hope. This is kind of neat as long as we're here and I got this thing running. Look at the way the snow sometimes comes down and it, it spins around, makes little spirals and things. Sometimes the centers are hollow and kind of neat. I love it up here. Beautiful day. Well, this is one of the things that makes trapping in the snow in the spring so hard to do. The, the uh, 
trap is warm enough that it'll melt out the snow and leave the trap exposed and it might be froze down it might not it's hard to say but uh, I don't think any wolf except for maybe a real stupid one is going to come along and step into that let's see if this is frozen or not Uh, it would still spring. It's not not froze down. So anyway, I will put a thin layer of snow back on top of this and go from there. I'm guessing that other trap over there is the same way. Uh, that's why trapping in the dirt is so much better. You have troubles there too with the ground freezing, but snow trapping is, is a tough job. Anyway, I'll get this covered up again and see what the other one looks like okay I got my trap covered back up again and it's on this little trail here where mainly it looks like coyotes have been coming back and forth the deer is just right over up here you can see there isn't much left of it at all I'll have to add bait to this but uh, here's my lure jar I'll add a little bit of that I just found this <laughs> and talk about adding insult to injury that sure looks like a wolf track to me it's hard to tell for sure it's kind of uh, melted and covered up but that's only five feet from my trap <sighs> frustrating but you know if it was easy it wouldn't be as much fun it would be nice to have one though Anyway, get this re-lured and get on out of here. Well, this is the difference between trapping in the snow and trapping in the dirt. I have a trap that is right there. My dirt hole is right there. And it's still covered up and ready to go. Well, if I can just get it to melt just a little bit more, get a little bit of this exposed dirt showing, it's starting to get more and more. Well, maybe I'll still have a chance. That elk is right here. Um, looks to me like the only thing that's really found it is maybe a coyote or two and these ravens you can hear in the background. But anyway, first trap check and I got skunked, so... Maybe next time through. That elk is about a hundred yards from here. Lily can smell it. If she can smell it, the wolves can smell it for sure. Well, I just got to keep myself from getting too discouraged and keep at this. Might as well go up until the last day of the season. As long as work doesn't get in the way, I might get too busy to do it, but that's kind of the plan right now. So, anyway, stick around and keep your fingers crossed. I got mine crossed. Toes, too. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.